I was like, I'm gonna hit my head. <laughs> Gym. This is my heart monitor. Me and my uncle and aunt Jason Amy, we each have one of these and like we have an app so it like shows us how many calories we burn during the workout, how many MEPs we got, and we like see who has the most MEPs at the end of the month. Super fun. <laughs> Let's turn the brightness down a bit. I am in Atlanta right now. I was just in Minnesota for a week and then we went to Paris for literally like 30 hours. So <laughs> That's my life. I was actually gonna leave Atlanta this morning, but it's funny because this is where Hunter works sometimes because Delta headquarters is here. So when he goes to the office, it's here right next to the Atlanta airport because that's where Delta headquarters is. So we went straight from Paris to here. But right now, Josh, my dad, is working here on a work trip out of town and he's like 30 minutes away. So I decided to stay here and then we're gonna go get dinner later. And then I'm probably either gonna leave tomorrow or Wednesday, the very end of this week on a Saturday. I turn 20. Um, that's crazy to me. I'm not gonna be a teenager anymore. Very scary growing up. I would definitely say my teenage years have been pretty fun and not the average teenage life. Some ways better than others, but you know, overall I say it's pretty great teenage years with some, you know, great fun trauma included throughout the middle. As a whole, it's Great, great teenage years over growing up, and that's crazy. So I just thought I would, what's the word? I want to use the word that's like fancier than film or record. Document. I decided that I wanted to document my last week as a teenager. Uh, yeah, we're turning 20. It's crazy. This hotel room that we're in, they like upgraded us. Let's talk about that. This is absolutely crazy. It goes so deep, so many windows. You can just see the plane taking on and off all day long. That looks way closer in person. Like there's another one. They're just taking off literally second by second. So that's super cool. Hunter's at work right now. I'm just alone in this hotel room. I, it feels like a very productive hotel room. So I'm just gonna sit and edit. Like another plane taking off. It's just so cool to look at. Like I can look, watch, just sit here and look out the windows all day. It's Monday, August, 23rd. Virgo season just started. I feel the power rising. I'm starting to feel more powerful than ever. It's time for us to party and unite. I really want like a coffee. There's a little coffee place downstairs in the lobby. And I wonder if they have like iced chai. I'm amazed at how they don't crash into each other. Like they just go. place downstairs closed at 10 a.m. <laughs> which is quite early to me. Like why why would you close the coffee place at 10 a.m.? They probably didn't have chai anyways so it's fine but I do have something I guess it's not really what I want. Under here. Oh where did it even
I was gonna say that I had a Dr. Pepper, but it's gone. Hunter must have took my Dr. Pepper to work. So now I have not even that. This is just a sign that I don't need it. I just worked out, I just got 127 maps. I don't need a Dr. Pepper, but there's not even water in here either. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It was really upsetting news. The second zipper to open my suitcase has now broken as well. Now it's just these little nubs that I have to use to go all the way across the suitcase to open it. And it just takes so much more time. I don't know what I'm gonna wear today. I've had this suitcase filled with the same clothes for far too long. There's so many green trees. I can't even imagine what this looks like during the fall. Ugh. Does Georgia get cold during the winter or does it stay hot and humid more like all year round? Because I know Florida does and we're not that far away. I've never been in Georgia before. This is actually my first time. Hmm. Does it get snowy? Do the fall leaves change? I just want to know what this looks like during the fall time. Oh, I think they do because look over here, actually. This tree right here, that tree's starting to change. Same with that one at the little edge right there. So it looks like they do change. I have to come here during the fall now. The thing is, I will most likely never be in this hotel room again. Even if I came back to this hotel, which like rarely I don't think will happen, chances that they put me in this upgraded, nice, perfect, like we're literally at the top floor with a perfect view. The chances of that happening again, I feel like are very slim. So even if the foliage did change, I wouldn't be able to see it from this view, but I bet it looks great. Editing takes so long and it's so draining, but I, excuse me, and I'm hungry. It's 2 p.m. I'm still at work. I can't go anywhere because I don't have a car and I don't want to pay $30 extra for Uber Eats. Oh, and this feels good, this is itchy. Ah, oh, that felt nice. I can do this, I can finish this video. I just got back from dinner with everyone. I ate way too much. It was like a 20 ounce ribeye. I got mac and cheese. <gasps> Not to mention I had like three large raspberry lemonades. I ate way too fucking much food. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Do you guys see that? I look pregnant. I bet I gained 20 pounds just now. <gasps> I need to lay down. I might just lay down and go to bed. It's not even nine o'clock. <gasps> it was really good though. Really good. Really good steakhouse. This was such a funny coincidence that we were both in Atlanta at the same time. I got this water in the hotel lobby to rejuvenate my body. <laughs> shop was open today. I took a different route. I got a caramel macchiato instead of my go-to chai latte. It's not bad. See, like, the thing, though, chai is just so much better. Chai, like, just feels refreshing in my mouth. I mean, I'll drink it, but I won't drink it as happily as I would have if I got the chai. I paid $7 for this drink. It's crazy. So I could get a Chipotle giant burrito for that. But then it's like, who made prices for anything? Like who, <laughs> who made up all of this? Like letters, numbers, these cars that drive. How did we make that out of trees and berries? Dirt. <laughs> Good morning, I guess. Mm. Pretty plane landing. 
so hi. I'm debating on staying here another day or not because there is a Braves versus Yankees baseball game tonight in Atlanta, and we might go, and that would be fun. And if I did that, then I would obviously leave tomorrow. And Hunter's leaving tomorrow too. And I don't know if he's going back to California or if he's going to Utah with me. My mom's going with her sister though today to get a tattoo. So even if I did fly home, she'd be busy. This is our morning coffee rant. Happy Tuesday. I should go to the gym again, but I could just like sit on this piece couch over here, sip on my mediocre caramel macchiato, and then edit. Ooh, rise and shine. There's four more days until my birthday. I just called three of my family members on the phone to talk just because I'm bored now. It's time to edit all day again. I have nothing else to do. I should go to the gym again. Maybe I can do an at home in the room workout so I don't have to go down to the third floor. I'm just like, who else can I call? Who else can I call to pass the time by? I don't know, man. Well, I just sat down to edit, and now I'm gonna go sit right back up because this amount of coffee plus my giant steak yesterday calls for a big bathroom break. I can feel it coming. Well, Tyrell shit, it's the perfect time to get the newest tote bag from Wah. The Come Closer Tote. The Come Closer Tote can hold all your personal belongings while on the go. Your MacBook, a towel, antidepressants, your sweaty jockstrap from the gym, or whatever you please. Get one now at www.moi.shop. I was kind of sad because they were reversing the Yankees, but there's an Angels versus Yankees game next Monday at the Angel Stadium, so it worked out perfectly. <laughs> Only finished half of my coffee. The Glacier Freeze flavor is like so much more refreshing than all the other flavors. I know. So tomorrow night there's a 5:05 flight that gets into something like it's 7 p.m. I don't know if I'm gonna uh, be able to leave that room. However, otherwise the next flight gets into something like at 9 p.m. and then the last one gets in at 10 p.m. Okay. I feel like all of those times will be okay. I mean, obviously 10 being like the worst one. Classic chai latte today. As you can see, it's not mixed, so I'm gonna like try and oh, this cup's on really good. I'm trying to mix it because the first like it's literally just like milk. It's also a paper straw, so it's like this flimsy straw is not really helping mix this together. I feel like it's more mixed than before though. But also, is it really? I don't know. Let's taste it. I just paper straws suck. very good though, it's very good. Wipe like this, this is great. It does look a lot lighter than my normal chai latte would, but it tastes like it has the same amount of chai, which is good because obviously we don't want it to just be like a milk bath inside of our bodies. I was gonna get some yogurt with this, but I looked at the expiration date and it said August 14th. It is August 25th. So now I have yet again nothing to eat until I go to the airport later. <laughs> Flight takes off at around five o'clock and I'll get home to Utah at about seven o'clock. <laughs> That's how time change works. I'm going to finish up editing this video and then I need to pack up this suitcase. Scary. Let's get to work. <laughs> I 
I've finished editing. That is exporting now. Perfect timing. And I've almost finished my chai latte, unlike yesterday's caramel macchiato. It's about two o'clock. I don't think I'm gonna have time to go to the gym. Bummer, right? So now I'm gonna pack as my video uploads and then I'm gonna get in the shower and then it'll basically be time to go. Wow, crazy. Day just flew by. Say goodbye to this view. I'm leaving. I miraculously have gotten everything ready to go just in time. Pretty sure the shuttle to the airport comes at 3 o'clock. It is 2.50. Goodbye, Atlanta. It was a great first time. Maybe I'll come for sloppy seconds in the future. It's Hunter's bag. My bag. Can you put this in your backpack? The Salt Lake Airport is weirdly empty today. Easily, the Starbucks line that we're about to go to is packed to the fucking max. I swear to God, usually the line is like all the way out here. But it's empty today, and fall drinks are back. I'm thrilled. I could not be more excited. Hunter got the new, what was it called? I have no idea. Apple Crisp Macchiato. Yeah, it doesn't taste like coffee. No, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Nothing better than my tie, though. Here's video tape you sideways. Ugh. Oh my god. Have a great day at school, kids. The cord's not working. It said see cashier twice, and I don't want to go see the cashier. What do I do? I need gas. I had to go to the cashier. I feel defeated. Every time I get gas, I do a little Insta story series on my Finsta of me getting gas. I bet no one really cares about it, but I think it's fun. Oh, it's already done. Best pumpkin chai ever. Joe's doesn't mess. Hi. She's like, I'm not gonna smile now. Yeah. Hello. I just went on a little run back home right after drinking this pumpkin chai, which didn't feel the greatest, probably not the healthiest, with no hydration prior to the run. But I'm gonna go see if Mel's here. Um, this is one of my favorite parts of the day when I'm home in Utah, as you know. Pretty great view walking to the mailbox and back. It is only 11.30 though. Sometimes the mail doesn't come that early. Let's find out. The run felt great. Burn some maps. Let's let's go. There was sadly no mail, but I still enjoyed the little trot over and back. How in the hell do you draw a cute cartoon devil body? I think the head's starting to look okay. I don't know how to do this body. I'm sketching for a Halloween design. I've had this idea for like literally over a year. Just had a sexy tomato sandwich from our even sexier garden. We got the watermelon growing, we have the corn on the cob growing, we have peppers and beautiful sunflower seeds. One of them has already sprouted. Look how beautiful. Obviously the tomatoes, squash, cucumber. Real sexy garden if you ask me. <laughs> I 
I was gonna go to the gym bright and early this morning, but then Hunter wanted Subway at 10 in the morning because he got his wisdom teeth out and he hasn't been able to have a giant sandwich in two weeks. This messed up my morning schedule. I didn't see the <laughs> <laughs> You didn't? Sad. Well, actually, there was nobody in there. Really? Yeah. It was just sitting, they have like a to-go rack now. These do taste really good. What'd you put in it? Just salt and pepper and garlic salt and seasoning salt. Oh, really? When today's over, you're gonna have a child who's 20 years old. by now. I just took my last shower as a teenager. Last shower of the last decade of my life. Pretty crazy, right? It's... It's 2.20 and I need to eat this now because if I eat it any later than now, I will be too full for my little early birthday dinner tonight. I actually went to this place on my 18th birthday. It's called Tadka. It's an Indian restaurant and it is the best Indian restaurant ever. It's like family owned. They catered my uncle and aunt's wedding, which at the time of their wedding, they lived here. So it was in my backyard. So it's just like a family favorite. They know us really well. Sum that up, I need to eat this subway now. So I am hungry enough later to eat all that Indian food. I know I'm still gonna have leftovers there, but my subway sandwich is not soggy. So that's great. Mm. Oh good. That birthday dinner will be at about seven with a few other family members who were able to come last minute. I also checked the mail today, as I do when I'm here. And my great grandma and grandpa sent me a birthday card. They send me a birthday card every year. And every single year, every single year, they spell my name with one L instead of two L's. And I just think it's adorable. I'm never gonna be like, hey, did you know that my name's actually spelled with two L's? I just don't really care. They mail me a card every year, even though they live like 15 minutes away and I still see them often. My camera just randomly stopped in the middle of reading my card, so I kind of just had like a little miniature panic attack because I thought that my card was corrupted and then deleted everything from all week. Uh -huh, but it didn't, so that's great. As you get older, you'll find that life is full of uncertainty and surprise. Sometimes everything just seems jumbled and crazy. Isn't that right? Going every which way. Luckily, there are some things you can always count on. Remain constant and true, like the love of a grandparent. And on your birthday, you can count on having a wonderful day filled with good wishes from friends and family. Happy birthday with love, Grandma and Grandpa Ford. Aww. I always keep my birthday card. Some people are like, oh, I don't hand this out because like, you'll probably just throw it away. And I'm like, no, I actually keep them from like the last 11 years maybe. I literally just have like a stack of them in my closet. I don't know, I feel like sometimes reading those like kind messages, not that I ever do, but like if I did one day. What's your guys' subway order? Um, I get turkey on wheat, provolone and cheese, and then for the topping, spinach, tomato, cucumber, pickles, onions, and banana peppers, and then I do ranch as the dressing, which some might find odd, and salt and pepper, obviously. Hmm. When I'm feeling wild, which is all the time, I usually get a bag of the kettle cooked jalapeno chips that they have, and I put those on there to give it that crunch. My $20 fell on the floor. Go Heidi, go Heidi. 
So I've been thinking about making this birthday invitation all week long. So tomorrow's my actual birthday, right? And I'm flying to California to, well, I want it to have like this fun, big birthday party that's Adam Sandler themed. I wanted everyone to dress like Adam Sandler. I had been thinking of this for like months, but time flew by and I never made the invitation. And obviously it is a day before. So it's not gonna be a huge party. The only people who I know are coming over tomorrow is Dave and Bianca. But I still want this little fun, friendly get together. It's like any other day, but it's my birthday. I still want it to be Adam Sandler themed because his attire is iconic. His whole vibe, just Adam Sandler is one of my favorite people on earth, always has been. And it's been a whole thing, especially like recently too. It's been brought back up again, his outfits. In all of his paparazzi photos, he's basically wearing the same giant t-shirt with gym shorts that go to like his literal shin with his shades. I want everyone to dress that way. I still want to make a fancy invitation and I'll literally send it to three people because I still want everyone Everyone who's there to be dressed as Adam Sandler, even if it's only a four, five, maybe six person party. So I'm gonna open up Canva and make a fun little invitation for my Adam Sandler themed birthday party where four to six people will be attending, including me. I will definitely be working for at least the next hour on this, you know? I've actually had in my notes what I want to put on the car. Oh, like, oh my God, stop, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Sorry, something went wrong. That scared me. We have a blank canvas, let's go. First we need to add some iconic Adam Sandler outfits that I cut out in Photoshop. And then we will just piece it all together to create an iconic 20th birthday party card. In the background of black. Did I accept it? Oh. oh, we have to dress as Adam Sandler tomorrow? <laughs> We're preparing our outfits. I don't know if I can go. Is that my house? Yeah, it's at your apartment, oh. so. Cool. I think I did really well. Now. It's just finding out who's gonna end up coming to my not party party. That's Adam Sandler themed. Tori, Tori confirmed. So we have one, we have one folks. Going to birthday dinner now. Ready for Indian food. Wow, my room is a mess. I was gonna say how long until she knows. Shot, 
that's just the first of many. Yes. I don't know why both basically just wear pants and just go over to wear a shirt. <laughs> hey! How many cards do we deal? Seven, five, or seven. One, two, three. Sometimes it is. <laughs> Why are the dudes so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be good, Smith. Yes! God damn it! <laughs> it's like she's your mom or something. You know? <laughs> exactly what he's thinking. Yes. Mm. Coming to Broadway this season. <laughs>